This video is old, but new. I buy second-hand mitter saw with cheap price. I don't know about the brand, this brand is from China. The build quality is good enough. But, the surface is not flat. There is big gap at the fence, that's not good. I try to cut MDF. The blade is blunt. The result is not bad, but the angle not 90 degrees perfection. I will fix all the problems. Take off fence and the middle cover. Give ring around the screw holes. Then, put back the middle cover. Polish and clean the surface. Fix gap at the fence using aluminium. Measure the length of the gap, to place the aluminium. Use fence to make template for aluminium, then cut it. Grinder the fence to get flattened surface. Use epoxy glue to stick the aluminium on the fence. After glue dry, Polish the aluminium for smooth surface. Put back the fence on the place. Check using speed square to know whether the angle is 90 degrees. Then, fasten the bolt. Do the same on the other side. Now, I replace the blade. I don't know about the brand, but I buy it with cheap price. I try to cut MDF again.
the result is perfect and the angle is 90 degrees. I am not worried with the gap at the fence anymore. And the surface is flattened now. I will add laser guide for easy and faster cut. I need to make a jig to place the laser guide. Use MDF 18 millimeters to make a jig. Measure and mark MDF. Then, drill the mark use spade bit 12 millimeters. Drill again use 8 millimeters drill bit. Put the laser guide into the hole made before. I replace the bolt in the meter saw using M8 bolt. Then, place the laser guide jig in the meter saw. Use MDF board to set the laser guide at the right position. Put MDF on the meter saw, make sure to place it right to the cutting area. Use battery holder with switch for easy turn on off the laser guide. Set up the laser guide on the right position. Use Play-Doh to lock the head of laser guide. Take off the dust collector for placing the cable. Connect the cable. Then solder it. Use paper tape on the heat shrink for covering the cable. Put back the dust collector to the place. Use hot glue to place battery holder. Arrange the cable for cleaning looks. Connect cable to battery holder. Then, use paper tape and heat shrink to cover the cable. Now, try to turn on and turn off the laser guide. The laser guide can be used for any angles. Drill the meter station for adding T-nut. I place the reverse position. But, I lock using screw to make it strong. For details plan for making meter station, you can see my video master plan DIY simple meter saw station portable. Place meter saw on the meter station. Use water pass to place it at the right position. After get the right position, lock the position using bolt.
Tri-cut MDF 18mm with width 20mm. The result is perfect and precision.